Last year, my Royal Rumble experience was insane. I got to see Sami Zayn's fallout with a bloodline. I practically had LA Knight thrown in my lap. And I got to see Cody Rhodes win the Royal Rumble. But in this video, we're going to be going to Tampa, Florida for the 2024 Royal Rumble. Last year, I did have front row seats in the corner. But this year, I have seats by the ramp, so I'm super excited to be close to the superstars like last year. Now, I am from Alabama, so me and my buddy Steven are going to be driving nine hours to get there. Nine hours is a long time, but the drive was not that bad. It rained here and there, but for the most part, it was pretty good. But as we approached Tampa, we were getting hungry, so we pulled over at the closest eating establishment. Wendy's double pretzel bacon in How is it? Messy. Now, after our delectable dinner, we were exhausted, but we did drive the rest of the way. But after being in the car for that damn long and after filling my tummy, Brad, it was time to crash. Beautiful view of the parking lot right here. We're about to put this mug on 60, and we're going to make sure it throws snowballs at us. All right. It's bedtime after that drive. 1 a.m. All right, it's morning time. I think those guys over there are actually smoking a blunt or something, but here's the view from the room. Good old view of the uh, tractor trailers up there, or the 18 wheelers. That's good. Time to take on the day, whatever the hell that means. So off we went for our first day in Tampa for the Royal Rumble 2024 weekend, and the traffic was insane. Everywhere we went, there was standstill traffic. Of course, on the highways, it wasn't as bad, but we ran into a lot of traffic on multiple occasions on these days. But we had to go across town over to the airport first to start our day to pick up our boys, John and Tim. And after we picked those guys up, we did head across town to Hulk Hogan's Beach Shop in Clearwater, Florida. All right, we're here in Hogan's Beach Shop. What do you think? Dude, it's pretty cool. Got cool. that Ultimate Warrior Championship down here. Rick Flair, all these different title belts. I want to say the other location's bigger and whatnot, but they do have like some figures in, on display. You got some modern championships. Wrestling on the TV, of course. Pretty dope place, man. Look at this autograph defining moment sting. I don't even know if this stuff's available for purchase or not, but also. We did just get this reclassified in the Legends line right there, and it is autoed in pink. Now, last time we came to the Rumble, I did get, and we even got Freddy Blassie over here, but last time on our trip to the Royal Rumble, we did get a autographed Men on Card figure, so I'm probably going to make that a yearly tradition. We got the RVD last time, but glass case, dude. Pretty cool stuff, man. It's just surreal. You see all this different stuff. Got the Ultimate Edition Hogan autograph. Imagine if they had a store like this dedicated to John Cena. If that ever happens, I'm going to be like first in line, but very cool store so far. And this box right here is insane. Look at this box. It's unbelievable. Now, I'm not much of a Hogan guy, but this beach shop was very overwhelming. Tons of wrestling memorabilia and signed autographs. Everything in the entire store was autographed, I swear to God. However, if you guys want an in-depth look at this store, you can check out the video on the channel. We did a full in-depth, full-length video on the channel covering this store and the restaurant, so definitely go check that out. But this was the most rare item that we saw in the entire store. Bro, what is this? Why is this here? Why is this here? That is hilarious. You know, when you come to Hogan's Beach Shop, you got to get the Ryback Cup. Signature Ryback Cup. One of 500. <laughs> So after shopping around Hogan's Beach Shop for a little while, man, it was the afternoon, and if you did not know, this shop is actually connected to a restaurant at the end of the strip right there. So we took the elevator upstairs to the roof where we could actually have our lunch, and we were actually greeted by a special guest there. Something's about to happen. This camera crew just came out, and I don't know what's going on. Apparently Hulk Hogan's about to show up or something. Steven, what's happening? The Hulkster brother. Watch it not even be him. Oh my god, it actually is him. It's him. Hey. Hey. Dude, that's so cool. What the hell? Dude, I did not expect that. That's that's so funny. The lady lied to us. The lady lied. Yeah, it's like all We got Tim, we got John, and we got Steven. Our waitress legitimately just told us. <laughs> Didn't you just ask her? Yeah. You asked her, you said, you said, Tomorrow. you said Hulk Hogan? Must, must no, talked. you said, you said, is Hulk Hogan coming today? No, not today. He's literally walking up the elevator as we speak. Hey, he's my boy who does work here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
All right, fellas, nachos. What'd you get? You got a quesadilla? Yeah, I haven't here yet. Fries, Tim, how's this? How's this patty melt going? It's not a ten, but no. Is it ten out of ten? Ten not out of ten. 10. It's probably just because we're all starving. We've been here for six Is hours. Because you're really hungry, or? As fun as Hogan's restaurant was, man, I swear to God, the service there took for freaking ever. It was absolutely ridiculous. But we finally made it to our Airbnb. After spending about eight hours at the damn Hulk Hogan place, we're finally at this Airbnb where we're staying for two, three days, whatever it is. Thank God. All right, fellas, here we are in the main, the main entryway, I guess you could say. Table area, living room, whatever, TV. Got this room in here. Then we got another bedroom in here. Then we got a bathroom in here, which is a bathroom and a laundry room. So that's just excellent. And then you got this view out here on this balcony, I guess you'd say. Wish we had a pool. Dude, if there was a hot tub out here, that'd be hella nice. Like right here, this would be perfect for a hot tub. Right there. And then you can look at all this beautiful scenery. <laughs> Picnic table, car. Yep. All right. Well, on to the next. I don't know what the hell we're doing, man. So we started off Royal Rumble Day with a visit to the Superstore. So we got up, got dressed, got ready for the day, and attacked it on with a trip over to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Stadium, which is where the Superstore was, which was crazy because it was like 25 minutes away from the actual place that they were holding the Royal Rumble event. What do you think, John? Yeah. It's sick. Really just, dude, there's so many people in here. There's a crap ton of people in here, man. Let's go have a look at the terrible figure selection or the out of date figures. So, this cane basic is $20. These elites are $30. Top picks, Roman, $30. These are at the WrestleMania Superstore almost a year ago and they couldn't get rid of them. We have Braun Breaker. I think it's all Braun Breaker. I don't know why they have so many damn Braun Breakers. Andre Basic, Rey Mysterio top picks. That's it. They're scamming us, man. So the figures were a total waste, but the Superstore was very awesome. I don't know why they try to do this every year. They mark these figures up that are very, very old. They're old figures that they try to mark up like $10 above retail price. It's absolutely absurd. However, the Superstore had some really awesome items, but I was bummed out because I didn't find anything to personally purchase. But we did see some really awesome stuff. I just hate that I didn't personally buy any merchandise from the Superstore. I like this a little plain Jane, and I don't like big center graphics like this with nothing on the back. Oh, it does have something on the back. Still, this needs to be a smaller logo and it's more centered on the chest in my opinion. I call this the Harry Potter Randy Orton shirt. It just gives me real Harry Potter vibes, but I don't know, man. I don't, I'm not big on like pay-per-view brand merch. So anything like Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, like anything like that, man, I'm not a big fan of it. Like a Royal Rumble pillow, man, what do you need it for? You, you don't need that, bro. I really dig the Levels Above shirt as well. Love that one. Like that jacket with Royal Rumble on it, like why? Don't need it. The Roman gauntlets, Roman hats. That's all right, it's not bad. Dude, these right here are badass. That Roman, that looks better than every Roman head sculpt we've ever gotten. Dude, that's sick as hell. I might buy one of those. I bet they're, oh, 40? That's, that's cheaper than I thought they'd be. I thought they'd be like 50 or 60. They got Hulk Hogan. Dude, the lightness on these is crazy. Are these pillows? Yeah, they're uh, like wrestling buddies, kind of. Oh, dude, the Cena is sick as hell. I got to see the Cena one. Hold on. Dude, the John Cena one looks the best, in my opinion. That's awesome. Very cool. That might be the best thing in here. If I had to pick one piece or item in here that's badass or the best, they even have the... I almost said the, the back shot version, but I don't like that. Oh shit, it's Apollo Crews. Chilling. So after leaving the Superstore, disaster actually struck as we got a flat tire, man. We got a flat tire on the way to lunch, so we had to pull over in the parking lot, and Steven had to call a tow truck, get the truck towed, had to sit there and wait on the damn truck to come get it. Obviously, the tire was flat, couldn't move, couldn't go anywhere, and this happened in the middle of Royal Rumble Day, so it was a very st stressful situation, but fortunately enough, we did meet up with the boys, and we did go eat some chilies while we waited on the car, and all was well in the world. All right, so a lot's happened. We got Muscle Bro in the house, and then we have Nick Storm of all people, and then we got Fig Skip, 
We have a ran we have a random assortment of characters, but uh, we we chose chilies after a bunch of diversions. So, yep, this is what we're living with. Life, life's hitting me hard right now. <laughs> Please, he's, please. He's, he's got one, two, three. Look, dude, he's like eight, he's eight, Any, bro, Anything, bro. anything you can do to help. Start, um, start a GoFundMe for tire me, to tire yeah. ASAP. We're in Tampa. No I'm, tire. I'm hurting. Uh. So after we grabbed our lunch with Muscle Bro Fig Skib and Nick Storm, man, huge shout out to those fellas for hanging out and actually taking me over to the stadium for the actual Royal Rumble event and riding with them and hanging out with them, man. It was an unbelievable time. I wish I had more clips of it and everything like that, more photos and whatnot, man, but I was trying to just enjoy my time the best I could. But we walked over to Tropicana Field where we waited in line for the Royal Rumble, and after everything, man, it was finally time to actually enter into the event where I could actually find my way down to my seat where I could, you know, wait for the show to start and whatnot. Alright fellas, here we go, view for the night. It's a lot closer than it looks right here, but I'm actually, I'm not the first seat. I don't know who has the first seat. I actually have the second seat, which would put me like right here. Um, I don't know, I guess we'll just see what happens, but not not bad right here, man. I think this is like priority pass people, maybe. I see Troy Dan over there, which is cool, but pretty cool. Should be fun. See some superstars make their entrances and stuff, so I guess we'll just see what kind of clips we can get, but it looks awesome in here, man. Really cool venue. I don't know about those people way over there, man, or way over there, left field, the foul pole. I don't know how they're doing that, but... Also, the WrestleMania sign's kind of covered up. I, just, I don't know. You never know how the layout's going to be until you get here, but this is really cool. I th I'm pretty sure a lot of these people right here paid like 10 plus K to do. They got to actually go down the, the ramp right here, which is really awesome. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with this seat for what I paid. But after finding my seat, walking around and talking to a ton of different WWE fans and fans of the channel, man, it was a blast getting to meet all of you out there, man. I appreciate every single person that came up to talk to me about the channel or about figures or about WWE in general, man. It was a true blessing and honor to get to talk to everybody about that, man. It was finally time for the Royal Rumble 2024 to begin. <laughs> Naomi returns at number two, didn't expect that one, that's crazy. Looks like shots he's gonna be next. I'm guessing. Archer is so good, he belongs in Hollywood, man. So good. Priceless, great stuff. Joey Stark, there's four spots left. I 
I mean, there's no real telling who, who's left. I'm thinking Jade at 30, maybe? But I knew she was still left. I knew Zoe was still left. So we'll see what comes next. Officially makes her debut here. Looks like she's gonna match up with Nia Jax. I have no idea who the hell's gonna be number 30. Who the hell is gonna be number 30 now? I don't know. Here we go, baby. Number 30. Number 30. Oh shit, I don't know who this is gonna be, man. Who is it gonna be?
gotta live with it sometimes, Bradley. Bro's incapable of having a good gear. All of his attires are terrible, in my opinion. He could do much better, but... Oh well, Brad. He's the one wrestling for titles, Brad. I mean, huh, what are you doing?
breaker looks like a million dollars. Holy shit, she can just beat the hell out of everybody. It's gotta be true, right? It's gotta be true. Yeah, I think so. Okay. That means Drew McIntyre has to be next then, unless he's 30. Well, Drew McIntyre and Solo Sokoa, I think, are the last two. It's not gonna be anybody I don't think about. So we were officially down to the final few men in the Men's Royal Rumble match for 2024. No Dwayne The Rock Johnson until a week later, unfortunately. If The Rock was going to show up and steal Cody's story, he probably should have been in this Royal Rumble match. Nonetheless, when it was all said and done, man, we were down to the final two. Cody Rhodes and CM Punk, who put on a nice little matchup here at the end that pretty much turned into a one-on-one, -on -one, just like last year when Gunther and Cody Rhodes were the final two. But when it was all said and done, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, was ultimately the winner of the 2024 Men's Royal Rumble. I'm sorry about what happened at WrestleMania 39, but we are going to WrestleMania 40. So I thank you very much for making it Cody territory. I love you guys all so much. Have a great night. Insane, bro. Holy crap. That was intense. I got a lot of clips on my phone. I didn't get a lot on the on the camera. Hopefully it'll be easy to edit together, but we will see. But Cody wins back-to-back -back Royal Rumbles, bro. Insanity. That was freaking incredible. I'm lost. Andy is gone. I'm gonna move houses in two days and it's all your fault. No, but seriously, I can't find where I need to go. The calls aren't working and who I'm supposed to ride with, I can't find. So and then the pins aren't working, so I'm F. I guess I'm just gonna sleep here. 
After wandering about for about an hour, I finally located my group of friends where we ultimately tried to grab an Uber, but it kept canceling on us, so we were pretty much stranded for the better part of one or two hours outside of the stadium, walking around trying to find a ride home, unfortunately, but we did end up actually getting a ride eventually. It took forever, but we did end up getting a ride back to our place at around 2.30 a.m., and we had to get up early for the drive back, so it was definitely an exhausting time, but we finally got up, got out on the road man and my royal rumble 2024 trip was officially over as we headed back man i had an absolute blast with my time down in tampa florida man absolute blast and an unforgettable trip a huge shout out to everybody that i met at the show whether you're a fan of the channel or you came up to me man also a huge shout out to my man abel who did purchase me and gift me with a cody Rhodes autograph poster which i am greatly appreciative man thank you so much brother for that shout out to Brody lee jr and his mom for meeting me at the royal rumble as well another mdt vlog and another great great experience in the books, man, but I think that pretty much wrapped up my entire Royal Rumble trip. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'd love to know your thoughts on the vlog down in the comment section below. What did you think of the Royal Rumble 2024? After editing this video and knowing what I know now about the Rock situation and the Cody Rhodes situation, I am heavily disappointed where they went with it. Loved seeing Cody Rhodes win back-to-back -back Royal Rumbles in person. Hopefully, he will actually get to finish the story, but at the time of recording, it looks like Dwayne The Rock Johnson is in his main event spot at WrestleMania. But I think the next vlog that we do on the channel will be WrestleMania 40, so hopefully we will be there in person to actually witness Cody Rhodes finish the story on this two-year-long journey that we have been on, man. But I'm getting out of here. Huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate all those fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. I am getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.